I guess you don't feel for smiling. This is the average mango boy puppy. Really in all aspects. It is owned by new neighbors of us. They just moved in, I think two, three weeks ago and brought this puppy with them. This puppy and, and a sibling of it. And of course, it is too young to be even taken away from the mom. I think it's only six weeks old. And of course it has parasites. I already sprayed it with an insecticide that made me get rid of some fleas and some ticks, but not of the mango worms. And the neighbors tried to remove some mango worms, but of course were not very thoroughly and caused some abscesses too. And so we are sitting in our house and hearing these puppies crying, 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 crying. They are not. Something needed to be done. Here's a nice abscess, for example. Nice abscess. Puppy. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. That is so nasty. So nasty. Okay, puppy, I think we knock you out. Because it's too bad, especially under the chest. If you see all the slumps and bumps here, they all are maggots and they all have pus and it's just a major, a major disaster. Here's our average mango bum puppy again. And he's not fully asleep because I don't want him to not wake up anymore, but at least awake enough to take out some worms and we can see if we can open some abscesses without bathing and pus. The paws are very often fairly bad. That's what actually makes them crying because they can hardly move anymore as they with every step put pressure on the inflamed mango worms in the paw. And then you just have a puppy that is sitting down crying and of course then they are even a better target for other parasites, ticks, fleas, more mango worms. Big problem. Big problem. And the place that they are sitting down is usually just open soil. And if a puppy sits long enough in open soil in one spot, it becomes very nasty. This whole thing is nasty. Nasty is the right word for it. What's that? A flea.
tail of these dogs is often shorter than than you would expect, due to the fact that the mango worms don't have a lot of, a lot of space. Bobby, are you still alive? Breathing. As always, once I'm done with this, we will medicate him. Medicate her, I think it's a girl. You are a girl. We will medicate her with some antibiotics because a lot of these holes are infected. We give her some Dectomax, that is a good preventative against future infestations and will kill even some internal parasites. And she will have a wash. And she will stay with me for a day or two. I'm sure my new neighbors will think that I'm snatching their puppy. But it is fairly indicated that this one has to get better first before it can go back to the yeah, owners. Shall we call them owners? Keepers? To the people. And it's even good to leave her here for two days, three days, so I can, or we can go all over her again after that time to see if we find more maggots. The tiny maggots become bigger and then they can be squeezed. Cute. The majority, I think, is aunt. No, I would like to open some of his abscesses. Oh, there's a nice one. I forgot the face. Whoop. Mm, the face is not too bad. Okay, obsessed time. Uh... <laughs> 